Right, so if you're anything like me and you like to sit in bed with your tablet or your laptop and check your emails and that, or watch YouTube or stuff like that, and you keep losing the signal, or even sitting on the toilet, if you like sitting on the toilet, I do sometimes, sit on the toilet with my tablet and um, watching something on YouTube. If you're like me, you might need this, if, especially if you keep losing connection. I do, sometimes I have to move it about, find a spot for it and I'll get it again and then sometimes I lose it. Some days it's alright and some days it ain't. So hopefully this might be a solution to my problem and hopefully it be a solution to your problem. So it comes in an Amazon bag, cost me about £68. So it's not cheap, but it might do the job. So Amazon bag, that's a good idea actually. Let's have a quick look around the box. So this is the AV600 power line. Uh, it does up to 300 megabits per second Wi-Fi. That's why I bought it for the Wi-Fi. So I can plug that into the bedroom. Once you set it up, you plug it into the bedroom. I've got another one to go somewhere else. I'll probably plug that into the front room. And then the main one will connect to the router. That's what these are for. So quickly look around the box. I did spend a bit of time doing some research on which one to get. And you can get more powerful ones. I don't really need it to be more powerful. I just need it to work. You know, and I only watch things like on my tablet in bed, like watching YouTube. And I don't need, you know, fast internet. As long as it can do video, which it should be able to do. Specifications and features. Compatible with, work with home plug, power line adapters and routers. Coverage, one room per extended. Expands coverage by adding more extenders. So you can add more of these to it, which is another good thing. But I only need two. That's why I bought two. I need one for my bedroom. Uh, I don't need one in the toilet. The one in the bedroom, hopefully, will give me a strong enough signal that will do the toilet as well. Hopefully. We will find out. We're going to see what you get for your money. And then we're going to set her up. Get out of the way for now. I'll pick you up in a minute, don't worry. So it's been battered about a bit, not by me. Let's have a look. So obviously you're going to get quick installation guide. Uh, which looks like it's all in English. Yeah, it's all in English, so I'm not going to read that out to you. Uh, what's this? General Public Licence Notice. I'm definitely not going to read that, baby. So what do you get? So you get a network cable. Let's have a look. It should be a fair length. I wouldn't have thought it would be massive, but it should be maybe at least a metre. Or maybe more than that. I reckon two. Two metres, which is pretty good. Doesn't feel like a high quality cable. Uh, what's it say? Data cable. It's a Cat5. In case anyone wants to know. So Cat5 is pretty good. Well, standard nowadays anyway, isn't it? Uh, so that's one. We've got another one, so that's two of them. I oh, actually got three, which you should have actually, three. Uh, and I'm guessing they're all going to be the same length. So what we've got here. You don't have to use it just for Wi-Fi either. You can actually um, plug in devices as well. So this is the AV600. Now, is that the main body? I don't think so. This would be the main unit. Right, this little baby here, believe it or not, is the one you plug into your router, I think. Could be wrong. No, it's not. Let's get the other one out. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it is, actually. Yeah, I was right. Right, so these are the two you plug into your room. So you have two network cable connections which is good, and you can pair it just by pressing a button on there, as, as a reset button, and the, the lights will indicate what it's doing, you know, whether it's all working all right, or whatever, and like I said, we are going to be trying this out, it has some numbers on the top, so it's got the SSID uh, link number, and the wireless password on top, so I won't be able to show you that bit, but that's them. And this is the main unit itself. It's only tiny, tiny little thing. So this needs to go somewhere near your router. 
and what's it say? It's got a pair button on it, so you just press that to pair it all up. Yeah, it's quite simple. We'll never read the instructions, and uh, we're going to have a go at setting it up and see how easy it is. Right, for best results, it actually says plug it straight into your mains, not into an adapter. So I've had to turn everything off. So what I'm going to do is swap this over. So, it's a bit stiff. And I've actually bought a new one anyway. So this is going to go over on this one though, rather than that one. Because all, I want the best connection possible. Um, what one's going on the bottom? That one will stick out. That one go in there. So, and that leaves me a spare one on top. So that will be what I'm going to be doing. So this is close to there, but not going through an adapter. So that would go in there. So, don't forget the cable. I'm not sure if the cable is going to be long enough. I will need to go along my trunking so it's out of the way, hidden to most of it anyway so that would go in there like so that would plug into there run the cable along up to the router we will see change it yes I do have a few cables here there and everywhere I haven't put them in some sort of order right so we're going to take this back out although white is probably the best option So that's plugged in. Right, the way I understand it, all I've got to do now is plug this in and it should just like, it should already be powered. So before I do that, just quickly show you what it does. So you have a power light, uh, a network light, so and it's connected or a link. So that'd be for your link. And then you've got a network, that's if you're using the ethernet. So if you have ethernet plugged in the bottom, it will light up there saying so it's connected for the ethernet and a Wi-Fi. And we're going to be just using the Wi-Fi. So, turn it on. Plug it in. See what happens. So power is connected straight away to the device. We want bottom one to come on now. There you go, so we're now, we now have internet, Wi-Fi internet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to link it up. Wi-Fi. Uh, should come up, give it a second, it's come up. TP link. Put my code in. Can't show you that. Connect. Connected. Now that was really fast, so there you go it's connected what we're going to do now go onto YouTube see if it works let's find your keys bits and bobs and there I am your channel yeah so that worked so Wi-Fi is working I'm going to do a speed test as well so if you want to see it working first so we've got 30.5 megabits that will vary slightly depending on your connection your wall power and 24 upload so 30 download, 24 upload, it will vary. And losses, it says zero. Ping the 10. So yeah, so that's all working fine. Pleased about that. And that was really easy to set up. 
Right, so that was it. I just wanted to show you how to do an installation and see whether it's any good. This is the AV600. It was very simple to install. Plug in your little box first into your router, make sure all the lights are on, and then wherever you're going to plug this in. It probably will work on an extended cable, you know, an extension lead, whatever you want to call it. It probably will still work, but depending on your cable extension, how good a quality it will be will depend on lots of other uh, things like that. But if you're doing it straight into a wall socket, it should work just straight away. If it doesn't pair up, they give you instructions on how to pair it up, and that is really easy. You hold the button in for a few seconds until it starts blinking on the little device there, and then you put this wherever you're going to put it, turn it on, hold the button on this for a couple of seconds, make sure that's blinking, and it will just pair itself up. There's also other options for you pairing it up with your router, if you want to go down that route, and they're all in the instructions. I found it really easy, just basically plug and play. So yeah, very pleased with the TP-Link. They've done a good job, made it very simple. They could have made it hard work. I've done other brands before, and uh, I've had to mess about installation of the other brands, but TP-Link, to me, they always seem to do a nice, easy job. And uh, I'm not trying to promote them. I didn't get paid for this or anything. But I just wanted to point that out. It definitely gets my thumbs up. It's not the cheapest on the market, but it's also not the most expensive. You get two of these, so you can put them anywhere in the ass. I've got one in my bedroom now, and I'm not sure where I'm going to pick the other one yet. I've uh, got a couple of options. I might just keep it as a spare for later. But it's doing the job, and I can watch YouTube in bed or in the bathroom. It should work in the bathroom as well. So yeah, very pleased with it. Had a very good signal. We had five bars, which was the maximum. I was standing right next to it at the time, but yeah, very pleased with it. So with that, it definitely gets my thumbs up, and hopefully this video will get your thumbs up. If it didn't, give me a thumbs down, and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.